Hello, this is Spartan Commander, and this is the 280th Rome Total War Brotherhood game that I've put onto YouTube. Straight away, you'll see it's not this battle's not fought on the usual flat map. This battle has been fought on the Nordic Woodland map. Okay, the team I'm in today consists of IOW Sparky, who has bought the Carthage faction. A lot of you will know Sparky, very good player with both Rome and the Pike factions. As you can see there, I think he's got about. Um, Looks like something like about 15 pike units there, and it looks like about 5 cavalry units. So it'll be interesting to see how well this Carthage army does during the course of the battle. Our next teammate is a Brotherhood member Gladius, who's bought the Greek Cities faction. As you know, Gladius is very good with the Greek Cities faction, so it'll be great to see how well he does in this battle. As you can see, he's got three Cretan archers there. It can do a lot of damage and a long distance uh, range. And I think he's got something like about 12 Spartan units, and I think he's got two of the armoured hoplites. So as you can see there, um, newer players to RTW, there's the difference in the units there. You've got the armoured hoplites, uh, usually a lot of people use those as pilot shield units and then you've got of course the Spartans with their two hit points and excellent morale and really great specifications. So that is a pretty good solid uh, Greek city's army to me. And of course um, Gladius brings these Greek light cavalry. Um, a lot of people don't bring any cavalry with their Greek city's army but Gladius uses these uh, light cavalry extremely well and hopefully we'll see how well he uses them during the course of the battle. Our next teammate is uh, Brotherhood member Axilius, who has bought the Rome SBQR faction. And our last teammate is myself, Spartan Commander, who has bought the Rome Scipio faction. So there's our team there. Um, it looks pretty good. A lot of experience there, but you wait till you see the other team. It's got the class, this could be a classic battle. And here is the other team. We have um, Chimera Bob. A lot of you will know Chimera Bob, a very good player with both the Rome faction and Pike factions. And he has bought the Macedon faction today. Let's have a look at the upgrades on his Pike, Sarah. So he's got three upgrade, uh, sorry, six upgrades on each unit. So that's gold shield, gold attack. And just again, look at the length of those Macedon Pikes. That's a long way to fight down to kill the man on the other end. And you can see he's got three Cretan archers and then he's got his companion cavalry, sometimes called the winged horsemen because of the wings on their helmets. So there's a very good solid Macedon army there. Should be interesting to see how well it does. Their next teammate is Greek clan member Cleomenes. Now remember the Greek clan's mission um, on RTW was to be the best clan with the pike factions. Um, and for hours and hours they practiced with different pike um, factions and I think most people would agree that at the end of all the practicing that they did, they did become the best clan with the Pike factions on RTW. And whenever you see a Greek uh, clansman with a Pike faction, you know you're in for a real challenge here. Especially a senior um, Greeks member like Cleomenes. You see, um, I think the Macedon and Greek city factions were the uh, choice, um, 31k choice of most of the Greeks clans there. You can see you've got three Cretan archers and three companion cavalry and a very good um, dense formation of uh, infantry there. So have a look at his companion cavalry, I see he's only got six upgrades on that companion cavalry so once again uh, gold shield, gold attack and those long range Cretan archers. So it'll be interesting to see how well he does with that tried and tested Mastodon army. Their next teammate is, if we can get through the trees, <laughs> is um, RTW player Lee, a lot of you know Lee, a very good 31k player and he has bought the Rome Julio faction. Interesting formation there um, with just a couple of uh, Polish shield units on the front. Um, looks like he's got 14 infantry there and 6 cavalry. So I say he looks pretty good um, army. Let's see what upgrades he's got in his cavalry. Which he's got 7 upgrades on his cavalry so that's an experienced strike, gold shield, gold attack. So um, that is a pretty good uh, Julio Army there. Should be interesting to see how well that does. And their fourth teammate is an RTW player called Kaser Sos, who has bought, also bought the Rome Julio faction. I don't know much about Kaser. Um, I'm not sure if that's a real name or whether um, it's a different, uh, he plays under a different name normally, but that's a pretty good Roman army. And my guess is he's got the rest of his cavalry hidden in the woods there. 
So as I say, it's a pretty good uh, team there, and he's got the class. He's got the ingredients to be a classic. Okay, this is a very early stage of the battle here, and you can see that the Julio, enemy Julio player is being extremely aggressive towards our Carthage alloy there, especially with his cavalry, trying to um, attack the Sacred Band cavalry there with his uh, Julio cavalry. Let's say this is a very, very early stage of the battle. We haven't even formed up properly yet. As you can see, Gladius is taking his um, Greek city's army towards the enemy Macedon, and as you can see, um, Axilius with his SBQR infantry is moving towards uh, the Mastodon units as well. Um, as usual I'm right on the other flank here and I'm running my infantry and cavalry over to this flank as fast as I can. So as I say this is the extremely really really um, early part of the battle as you can see we haven't even formed up yet. As you can see the Julio, uh, enemy Julio player on our right flank is already showing very aggressive tactics here. Um, but he decided to pull his cavalry back as um, I think the um, the Carthage Sacred Band Cavalry was getting a bit close to uh, its pikes. Plus, I can see that um, Gladius has got some of his Cretan archers there, probably targeting that Julio Cavalry. Let's just pause the game for a second. As you can see, the Macedon units of the enemy are coming over. Can you notice this Julio player though, maybe a little bit isolated there? Um, maybe that's something we could look at. Um, we're always looking for uh, isolated um, enemy um, armies there that we can uh, maybe hit. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, as you can see there, as I say, this is a very early stage of the battle. And if you notice, Gladius is taking his long-range Cretan archers out, probably with a view to target those Julioi cavalry. I think he I saw that he'd already caused some casualties to um, those cavalry. There you are, so he's, he's already caused a few um, casualties to those uh, Julioi cavalry there. So it's a nice, uh, nice move there by Gladius, taking his archers across there to cover the uh, the sacred band cavalry there. I notice this Julio player is still moving towards us a little bit isolated from his allies, but um, I think our main um, concern here is over on our left flank where we've got two Macedon armies and the Julio army moving in towards us there. If you notice this Julio um, army is starting to move towards um, our flank, if you notice that uh, Brotherhood member Exilius with his SBQR army is moving across to counter that threat. You notice here Gladius's um, archers are idle at the moment. He's not going to waste um, good arrows shooting into the front of uh, Roman troops there. He'll wait to target uh, some softer targets with those uh, archers there. Showing his experience there. As you can see the Julio uh, general now is taking his army back over towards his allies. He's starting to see he's a little bit isolated there. Especially with my Scipio army moving over there as well. I think we were probably looking to target him. And he spotted that and decided to move back towards his... Um, his allies there. Good tactical move by him. But as I say, this is a very, very early um, stage of the battle at this time. As you can see, our Carthage ally here has brought his cavalry round here with a view probably to charge into the flank of any attacking troops. And Exilius has brought his SBQR army to face the, um, the Julio army there. Right, as you can see, you've got a mass of Macedon units, and if you notice that Lee has moved his um, Julii Roman army over up to the other flank there, probably with a view to attack our Carthage ally. Obviously, our Carthage ally wants to face Macedon. Let's just pause the game for a second. Um, as you can see here, the Julii uh, army has moved over here to Pyla, our Carthage ally here, and to attack him. Obviously, they know that our Carthage ally here wants to take on uh, one of the Macedon armies, as Carthage very often uh, can punch above its weight when it uh, faces the big 120-man pike units. So that's why the Julii, uh, enemy Julii armies come over. If you can see here, Gladius is facing Macedon as well. So I think here is just going to be where the battle is going to kick off on this left flank and left centre. So it should be um, an interesting battle to see when it starts. Okay, so um, this is still at the very early stage of the battle here. There's been no um, uh, taking a rest, no real kind of forming up. It's just been quite a lot of um, aggressive tactical moves here. If you notice I'm taking my Scipio army over here to actually counter Lee's Julio army there, as we don't want our Carthage ally to be facing that to Julio army. We want Rome versus Rome. We want our Carthage ally to take on the um, one of the Macedon armies there. 
That was a nice tactical move by the enemy team there because they know that um, they could cause a heck of a lot of damage to our Carthage ally uh, with pilot strikes. So that's why um, they've moved there. And of course, if they could weaken our Carthage ally, then that, of course, would help them because it wouldn't be so good against the Mastodon um, faction, enemy Mastodon factions there. Now it looks like there's like two pike armies here moving towards our teammate Gladius on the uh, the left centre. Now if you notice that Spark has taken his uh, Carthage army over, it looks like he's going to uh, set up behind Gladius, his Greek city's uh, units there. And over on our far right flank you can see that Exilius, his SBQ army, is facing the uh, enemy Julii army there. Um, just a bit of skirmishing, just a bit of pilot exchanging going on over on the right flank. Nothing much happening at the moment. But if you go into the left and right centre, you can see that the enemy Mastodon armies have massed there to take on our Greek citizens. Over on the left flank here, you can see I'm facing uh, Lee's Julia army. But I think the main action here could well be in the centre, the left and right centre here. As you can see, the enemy Mastodon pikes two pike armies there have massed their pikes and are now moving towards our allies um, gladius there let's just pause the game for a second so as i said you can see um, here if you look closely you can see how long those mastodon pikes are in comparison to the greek city's pikes um, you can see they're almost twice as long and remember that those greek city units those carthage units have got to fight all the way down those long pikes to kill the man on the other end there's a close-up of the fight in there as you can see, if you look closely, you can see how long those Mastodon pikes are in comparison to the uh, the Greek city pikes. Um, but um, I must say, Carthage uh, very often does punch above its weight when fighting these big units, and the Greek cities can do well against those um, Mastodon units as well. So there's a general um, overview of the battle there. As I say, our Carthage and Greek cities allies have um, merged there to take on the two Mastodon army, enemy Mastodon armies that have also merged. So um, it'll be interesting to see where this battle is um, going to be won. My guess is the centre uh, here, the left and right centre here, could be uh, pivotal to who um, who we're going to win here. But I must say it's a nice bit of teamwork by both teams here. As I say, our Carthage and Greek City allies there have teamed up to take on the two Mastodon Pikes in our centre. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there really great uh, generals in this battle all round so um, as I say this has got the ingredients to be a really great battle here if you notice here you can see Lou, uh, Lee sorry, is moving his uh, Julia army over on our left flank trying to do a left flanking action on my army there nice aggressive flanking uh, movement there by uh, Lee As you can see here, our Carthage ally is thinking about charging his cavalry into Lee's infantry and then stops. Decides not a good move as you can see the Julii cavalry charging in to counter that attack and then moves his Carthage um, cavalry back. Nice um, nice tactical move there. And if you notice, I'm going to charge my uh, Scipii cavalry in. But once again, seeing that uh, Julii cavalry coming out the woods and that the Julii infantry were turning to meet the attack, I pulled my... Um, my cavalry battle. I just pause again for a second. As you can see here, um, Lee, very aggressive left flank in action there with his infantry and cavalry. We've got a sacred band cavalry, my Julio cavalry, and the SBQR cavalry ready to counter that uh, left aggressive attack there. Meanwhile, in our center here, you can see our Carthage and Greek city ally, uh, allies there fighting the combined Macedon pike units there. That's some kind of um, pike battle going on in the center area. And over on our right flank, you can see that um, Axilius' SBQ army is now skirmishing with the enemy Julii army there. So all the way down the battle line here, it, uh, the battle could be going uh, in any direction. But over on this left flank, with all our cavalry massed on this left flank, then we may well have a bit of a cavalry advantage on Lee's Julii army here. I know there is Macedon cavalry uh, probably in the woods there, ready to, uh, to support him if we do attack with cavalry. 
they will probably come out the woods and counter our cavalry hit there but we've got uh, sacred band cavalry ready to hit his flank as you can see my skippy eye cavalry ready to charge in and over here on our right flank here you can see that the enemy julii general has brought his cavalry um, and some infantry units around here on the right flank here trying to do a right flank in action on Exilius but Exilius has got his cavalry and has turned some infantry to meet that threat as well over on our right flank so on our left and right flank we are being attacked and in the center all the pikes are really battling it out I think we've killed um, the Mastodon generals there so of course Mastodon's morale is not very good anyway so with their generals killed that's going to cause um, a major drop in morale for the, uh, the Mastodon pikemen there If you look carefully, you can see our Greek city and Carthage allies are really making inroads into those massed uh, Maston pikemen. Meanwhile, over on, over on our left flank here, you can see I'm charging my Scipioi cavalry into the flank of those Julii infantry. Lee spotted the attack coming in. If you notice, he's charged some infantry in to try and counter that attack. And if you notice that uh, the Julii uh, cavalry has charged into my Scipioi infantry, and I can see a lot of my units routing. And then we have um, Sparkies. Sacred Bank Cavalry charges. as well, let's just pause the game for a second right, As you can see here, remember the enemy are the Red Julii And we are over on this flank, Carthage and Blue Scipio here And you can see that a lot of my um, Blue Scipio units are starting to rout You notice that Spark has brought some of his Carthage uh, Sacred Band pikemen over to this left flank to support me If you notice there's Macedon Cavalry charged in as we thought there would be there on this left flank so maybe this left flank could be pivotal to the battle. Whoever wins here could go on to roll up the other team from left to right. As you can see here, uh, as I said earlier, our Greek city and Carthage allies have made big inroads into those um, pike, those Mastodon pike um, units there. And over on our right flank here, you can see it's a real tussle here between Exilius' uh, purple SBQR units and the enemy at red Julio units there. So all up and down the battle line here, there's um, potential... Um, battle winning, uh, little battles going on within the main battle. But if you notice here over on the left flank, we've managed to rout Lee's Julio general there. Well, of course, as we know, with his general being routed, the morale of his troops will now drop. And that's a big advantage for us over here on the left flank. The enemy general flees! Just like to show you some really nice teamwork here by Sparky. As you could see, I was under a heavy attack there, so he moved some of his pike units over. Plus, he is supported with his cavalry as well. Nice bit of teamwork. Remember, new players watching Rome Total War? These team battles are all about that teamwork. You may be a great individual fighter yourself, but um, and you might do very well on the battlefield. But if you're not watching uh, to help your teammates and they lose, then probably your team will go on to lose. So it's all about teamwork. So that left flank looks really um, up in the air at the moment, but as you can see, our Carthage and um, Greek cities allies here have done really well against those big Mastodon Pike units there. Meanwhile, over on our right flank here, you can see Exilius's purple SBQR units doing really well against the Red Julio. Plus, there's Mastodon cavalry coming in behind him as well. But I think that Mastodon cavalry may well go on to, into the back of our allies' Pike units there to try and rout some of our. Um, Allies pike units there. Can you see they're charging into the rear of our allies pike units? Are Hammer and Anvil. He's got a Macedon unit there, pikes as the Anvil, and he's charging his cavalry in as the Hammer there. And a few of our allies units are starting to rout. Okay, let's just pause the game for a second. So we've managed to, um, I think we've managed to beat the Julio General's army here over on our left flank, and we're now moving over from left to right. As I said earlier, we'd probably be looking to try and roll up the enemy battle line from left to right here. As you can see, um, a lot of the enemy Mastodon point units have been routed, um, but there's still uh, several of their units left. And over on our right flank here, you can see that Gladius has sent over some Greek cities units to help um, our SBQR ally. Exilius has been doing very good over here on the right flank, um, repelling a lot of heavy attacks by the enemy. So there's a general overview as the battle stands at the moment. Well, if you notice, as I said, we're now moving our troops over from the left to the right to try and roll up the enemy battle line from left to right. 
You can see several of our allies' units are starting to route. If you notice, I'm taking my Skippy Eye Cavalry around the rear of the enemy battle line here. Remember what we've talked about in other battle videos? Uh, about taking a cavalry round behind the enemy. Let's say on, a, on our left flank we've managed to win and we're moving from left to right. Let's say I've got my cavalry in behind the enemy troops and I'll probably be looking to smash into the rear of engaged enemy troops there. Um, my guess is um, looking at the battle situation as it is at the moment I'll probably hit the red Julii units there in the rear with my um, blue Scipii cavalry. You can see my cavalry getting ready to charge in. It's going in now, and bang! As that cavalry goes in, can you see it routed a lot of those Julio units on impact there? Remember, hitting engaged units from the rear, that's their weakest position, and that's how you can cause them to route. Nice combination attack there by the Carthage um, Sacred Band cavalry there. And it looks like we've um, we've managed to route uh, most of the, uh, the enemy on the left flank and in the centre there. Um, and from what I can see here, it looks like our um, our team has has managed to go on to uh, to win the battle here. I say at the beginning when you saw all those Macedon pikemen, um, those two Macedon armies um, kind of um, matching up together, like you know, merging together there in the centre. Um, with those great big long pikes against our Carthage and Greek cities allies area, you might well have thought our centre might have failed. But uh, as I say, Carthage can very much punch above its weight against these big pike units. And I think that with a combination of our Greek cities ally did very good. If you look at my army there, can you see I've got very battle damaged units left. Um, I certainly did take a lot of casualties over on that left flank. As I say, it was nice support there by Sparky bringing his Carthage Sacred Band, Cavalry and some Pike units over it as well. Once again, just to say to new players, that's what this game's all about. When you play team battles, it's all about teamwork, helping each other out. As you can see here by um, the amount of dead, the piles of dead from one flank to the other, how intense this battle was. Okay, the first thing I'd like to say is really well played to everybody in the game here. Um... Let's say, uh, just draw your attention to, um, it was a clear victory. I didn't think it was going to be a clear, I thought it might have been a closer uh, victory than that. If you look at Gladius's kills, two off of 2,000 kills. That's pretty good. I know they were fighting the big pike units, and if you notice, Sparky has also got 1,813. But of course, they were fighting the big 120-man units of uh, Macedon there, but still really good kills for them. Exilius did well over on that right flank, he held extremely well there. Um, so really well done to them, but really well done to Kaiser, Lee, a Greek Cleomenes and Chimera Bob. Really well played guys, some nice aggressive attacking work there. Um, really well done. And really well done to Axilius, Gladius and Sparky. Some great teamwork, some really nice counter attacks there. And really well done to everybody in the game. It's Spartan Commander saying hope you enjoyed the battle and bye for now.